What is up, brothers? Today is Thursday, May 9th. It is 3.58 p.m., right before the markets are about to close. Um, got a quick one for you guys today. The title of this video should be called Uranium Stocks Ratios to Keep Track of or to Keep in Mind. Um, I've talked a lot about this before, but you can see on the screen here gold futures and kind of what my roadmap looks like for gold over the coming decade, 10 to 15 years. Um, so what you see here is a massive, I would say cup and handle breakout of gold. You know, huge basing pattern right here since 2011. And I think this moving average is, if we smooth it out and we project it out, I think it's gonna be going like this. That's just kind of what I'm seeing. And, you know, we don't necessarily, this is a bars pattern from the previous fractal. You know, I think it's gonna generally follow this. If it's gonna to go to 6,000, 6, it could. It could go higher, it could go to 12,000, it could only go to 4,000, I don't know. But I think it is gonna be generally going up over the next decade. I think that's that's fair to say and so that also looks makes me want to look at okay how is gold potentially going to be lo looking at compared to the S&P 500 because if we want commodity driven assets to be going up we want to be outperforming general equities themselves right and that's key in the ratios if you look at any gold bull chart and you maybe overlay gold miners or uranium miners or oil stocks on top of it, they go into a bull run when gold outperforms the S&P. So gold, we want gold to be in a bull market and we want gold to also be outperforming the S&P 500 if we want our miner, mining stocks to do incredibly well. And that's looking like the case here. So here it is again. Roadmap for gold over the next decade, and then we look at gold measured in the S&P. Looks like we're on the verge of breaking out versus the S&P, probably consolidating a bit, and then hopefully traveling up this arc, this bowl, you know, to, to maybe 0.64 and to one and beyond, right? If we zoom way out on the quarterly time frame, this is kind of what it looks like now. And this is kind of, a, there's a huge bull here at play. Whether that holds up or not, I'm not sure. But man, there are some good touch points on this, this bull dating back to 1939. Right, okay, so interesting. So now what I wanted to do was pull up uranium, specifically URA. And obviously we have our bull here. We have our, can throw our three-year moving average on here. So this is another bull, right? So uranium, this one goes up to about 2028. And then I think it, you know, there could, we could maybe form a handle of some sort, like a cup and handle, and maybe go even higher than, you know, 100 bucks on URA. So we gotta see, it's, it's kind of in the cards. But what I wanna look at is, okay, we looked at gold breaking out. We looked at gold probably breaking out versus the S&P we want to maybe look at assets or ETFs or commodities that are going to outperform gold over the coming decade and beyond. So let's look at URA compared to gold. And there's another bull on here. And that's why this is exactly why I'm kind of pointing towards uranium being such a and uranium miners, you know, for whatever reason, and we can all we can talk about the fundamentals of uranium and nuclear energy and all that stuff but whatever reason the charts are screaming that uranium is just beginning to break out versus gold versus the S&P it looks like it's going to be one of the better performing assets to be in over the coming decade that's what these charts are telling me because we have this this basing pattern a rounded bottom um, you know we've a rounded bottom when we throw on the moving average right and if we throw on the Ichimoku cloud, you know, we're just breaking out of the cloud. This is on the monthly time frame. This is big picture stuff. This is long time frame analysis. This is like 
not a lot of people, I feel like, look at the big, big picture. And that's why, you know, yes, look at today, two point, almost 2.8% up in URA. We're having a great day, but man, I'm thinking way beyond this year, 2024. I'm thinking, you know, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, like even beyond. Like, again, this could form a cup, a handle of some sort. And when I say handle, I'll, I'll go like this. Like, it could, it could do, I, I don't know, it could do this, right? No one knows, but that would be massive. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is these are some ratios that we got to keep in mind. We look at URA compared to the S&P 500. You know, this one it looks even better, right? Because gold is already, is looking like it's going to break out of the S&P 500 compared to the S&P 500. And URA is going to look better because it looks like URA is going to break out versus gold. Right? And we could even maybe go like that, maybe. So that could be a big bull flag. I don't know. That's kind of what we're seeing is a broader consolidation in, in some of these uranium stocks, right? And so point of the video, guys, is let's have the big picture in mind. Let's look at these big ratio charts to kind of put these pieces together and be like, wow, uranium is undervalued, even though it's been on a huge run. But I think there's a lot, lot more upside. And so that's really my takeaway. Um, you know, I'll continue to monitor this stuff for you guys. All you got to do is tune in, drop me a like. Share this with your friends, your family, if, if they might be interested. And um, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Again. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.